Hey guys, welcome back to another How to World War II video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a GI cup of coffee. So, let's get started. So first, what you're going to need, you're going to need your camp stove, which I'm using a captured German S-bit stove, and I got my pan with my S-bit in there, I got my 41 replica lighter, I got my original World War II 1945 canteen cup and my reproduction canteen. I also got my coffee grounds and my sugar, which sugar is optional. So what you're gonna wanna do first is take out your S-Bit stove or regular GI stove and your, and your uh, fuel. So let's do that. So when you have your camp stove out, and your fuel of course you're going to want to get your lighter or matches however you decide to uh, light your stove or fuel and you're going to want to if you're using the s-bit stove mine is dirty as you can see you're going to want to put it at a 90 degree angle like this take one of your fuel tablets close that up take your lighter make sure it's lit uh, and then hold the fuel tablet next to the lighter or next to the flame until it's lit so we got that lit and I also burned my finger cause I didn't realize it was lit <laughs> uh, my bad. And then after you light it, you're gonna want to take your cup, go ahead and close that. Put your cup on the stove. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it that way. Actually, uh, that should be good. All right. Now you got your cup, you got your campfire, and then you want to get your water. Make sure it's good water, I guess. <laughs> and you're going to want to fill it a quarter way full, because you don't want watery coffee. And you're just going to wait until that boils. So as you can see, I got the, the camp stove, the fuel in my cup right here, waiting for the water to boil. And I'll come back when that is. Now, it's not quite done uh, heating up yet, but what I wanna mention is that uh, I, you would want to maybe prefer or do this outside because first of all, it's fire, it's an open flame. And second of all, because if you're using the, the fuel tablets for S-Bit, they do smell like rotten fish, just as a heads up. And also, when you put your camp stove like this at a 90 degree angle, make sure your handle is facing this way, this way to my right, because uh, if not, the flame will actually hit the handle if it's facing the other way, and it will heat up the handle so and if you have it on this way it will actually not get hot as you can see i'm touching it it is not hot it's actually cold because it is cold out here so that's just my word of advice all right uh actually the water is quite done so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and push this away and I don't know if y'all can see that. The water is in fact boiling and you can see the steam coming off of it. Let's get that away. All right, next, you're gonna wanna get your coffee grounds. And this is not uh, realistic. <laughs> it, it is out. I just burned my finger. It is far, uh, far 
GI coffee, I guess. But, you know, it's basically the same thing because it's Folgers. It's just coffee grounds. All right. So you want to take your instant coffee. As you can see, I'm using Folger, Folger, Folgers. It's about seven packs for a dollar something at Walmart. If y'all have a Walmart in your, in your place of residence. So, yeah, you just want to dump that coffee in there. Get all mixed up. And then, after you get that done, if you want sugar, you can put sugar. I'm using this, it's stevia, because I am currently on a keto diet, and I cannot have regular sugar. So, but this is basically the same thing. Um, and if you want milk, you can add milk, because if I wasn't on keto, I would be putting powdered milk. Just spilt. I would be putting powdered milk if I wasn't on keto, but I am. So I can only use half and half. Not half and half. Yeah, half and half, yeah. Or almond milk, whatever. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you are on a diet, like me, you can use stevia. Because it's okay. And you can use half and half if you prefer milk in your coffee but yeah thank y'all for watching this is how to make a gi cup of coffee and i'll see y'all guys in the next one goodbye